Hello everyone! Today we'll take a look at the best video editing laptops in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which laptop are you currently using, and would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 – Best Portable Laptop It's been a while since we've seen a proper small-form performance laptop on the market, back when Dell still made the Alienware 13. And that brings us to the laptop that we have here, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. It's a joint effort from Asus, AMD and NVIDIA and brings up a competent Ryzen 4000HS hardware platform and up to NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics in a compact premium chassis without compromising on ergonomics, battery life or screen quality. The G14 is not as small, as thin nor as light as some other Ultrabooks, but it's portable enough in my opinion and you can tell its size from the small bezels around the screen. The whole thing also weighs 1.6 to 1.7 kilos between the different versions. The slightly heavier variants get what Asus calls the Anime Matrix secondary display, an array of dots on the lid cover that can display various messages, photos and animations in a geeky way. Asus offers three panel options for the Zephyrus G14, either IPS FHD 120Hz with Active Sync or IPS QHD 60Hz with Active Sync as well as a base-level 60Hz IPS panel for the entry-level configuration. The QHD panel is well-suited for daily use, video and photo or video editing, as long as you keep the laptop indoors, as I only measured about 270 nits of max brightness, which won't suffice for brighter environments. That's compensated by contrast levels above 1500 to 1, 65% plus coverage of the Adobe RGB gamut, solid viewing angles and good uniformity without any light bleeding. Overall, it's a great portable video editing laptop that's well worth the price. Number 4. Lenovo Legion 5 – Best Under $1000 Lenovo's Legion series is one of the best sellers on the market, and this is no coincidence, as they're constantly delivering quality at a relatively low price, making it one of the best gaming notebooks in terms of value. While in previous years pretty much all of the devices were powered by Intel processors, it's good to see that Lenovo is staying adequately up-to-date with the current situation in the market. This is an amazing all-rounder. This notebook is comfortably good in pretty much everything you do with it. For a budget-friendly price tag, the Lenovo Legion 5 is far superior build than any manufacturers we've seen in the market that were released this year alongside with this laptop. Everything about this laptop is just a perfect example of what a good build should be, and Lenovo didn't disappoint. On the side, the laptop has two USB-A ports on either side and a headphone jack. On the back, the laptop houses an Ethernet port, USB-C port, two USB-A ports, HDMI, DC in and a Kensington lock. The laptop has a 15.6-inch FHD IPS anti-glare display with a 120Hz refresh rate, which is more than enough for video editing definitely one of the best video editing laptops under $1,000. Number 3. Apple MacBook Pro M1 – Best Value Apple Laptop The MacBook Pro 13-inch M1 of 2020 may not have gotten a massive design overhaul, but what it lacks in that department, it makes up for big time in performance and battery life. Thanks to Apple's groundbreaking M1 chip, the new MacBook Pro 13-inch delivers excellent performance and exceptional battery life. Its performance is so impressive, in fact, that it can easily handle 4K and even 8K videos, which is great news for film students. If you're looking for a powerful laptop that keeps things small and lightweight, this is the best student laptop money can buy. The MacBook Pro is more powerful than nearly every PC on the market, including some workstations. And despite cramming so much power into such a slim and sleek chassis, the Pro will last for around 16 hours on a single charge, and my testings confirm that. A variety of different configurations are available to suit your needs and budget, but it's possible to get this laptop specced out very well indeed if you're planning on doing any serious image or video editing. If you need sleekness and power, and you're prepared to pay for it, but at the same time you still want something that isn't too difficult to carry around or stuff into a backpack, then consider the 13-inch MacBook Pro from Apple. Number 2. MacBook Pro 16-inch – Best for Final Cut Many video editors I know rely on a MacBook Pro as their personal, everyday machine, and many video editors I know also have been wanting a lot more from the MacBook Pro over the past few years. 
Compared to previous models, the 16-inch MacBook Pro has a new screen, new thermal architecture, new internals, a new battery, and a new keyboard that all come together to create the best laptop Apple has ever made. Video editing demands a great deal from mobile machines. It isn't something that can be solved by adding a single new component. Apple seems to have finally realized this with its MacBook Pro 16. With no unnecessary hardware restrictions, the new 16-inch comes in configurations with up to an 8-core processor, 64GB of RAM, and AMD Radeon Pro 5000M series graphics with up to 8GB GDDR6 VRAM. And we haven't even gotten to the screen yet. Oh, that screen. Apple's move to 16 inches hasn't resulted in a compromise in image quality, with a resolution being bumped up to 3072 by 1920 and a pixel density of 226 pixels per inch. That's a fairly decent jump over the 15-inch model's 2880 by 1800 resolution, which offered a pixel density of 220 ppi. A larger screen with an increased pixel density is very welcome indeed. There's a lot to love about the 16-inch MacBook Pro of 2019 and not much to dislike. The lack of expansion outside of the four Thunderbolt ports remains a disappointment to Pro users, but the laptop also makes up for that by adding features that make you less likely to need to plug in external tools. Definitely an amazing laptop overall. Number 1. Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED – Best Overall The Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED is the latest version of the Taiwanese company's flagship laptop, renewed and refreshed for 2020 with a 10th generation Intel processor and Nvidia's new RTX 2070 Super Mobile graphics cards. The Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED star attraction, apart from its cutting-edge components, is its gorgeous Samsung AMOLED screen, which is also Pantone color calibrated with a 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio and 100% support for the DCI P3 color gamut. That alone should tell you that the Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED of 2020 is a laptop that's aimed primarily at creative professionals who require maximum color accuracy, for example, photographers and video editors. Of course, the Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED specs mean it'll make a formidable gaming laptop as well. But playing games isn't this machine's primary focus. The Aero 15 OLED XB also flaunts Intel's new Core i7-10875H, an 8-core 16-thread processor with a base clock speed of 2.3 GHz and a max turbo speed of 5.1 GHz. Other standard features include 16GB of RAM and 512GB PCI Express solid-state drive, bolstered by 32GB of Intel Optane buffer. By far, the Aero's finest feature is its 4K OLED display, which boasts 400 nits of brightness and 100% coverage of the broad DCI P3 color gamut. Brightness is excellent and contrast is better than excellent, with wash day whites and black old blacks. Fine details are as sharp and non pixelated as those of any 4K laptop screen I've laid eyes on. Colors are lush and well saturated, both high res images and videos look stunning definitely one of the best laptops you can get for video editing in 2021. Buying Guide Storage When it comes to video editing, picking the right hard drive is probably the most important decision you'll make. There's often a trade-off between speed and size when it comes to storage, especially if your budget isn't spectacular. For video editors, the speed of the hard drive is important because your hard drive is where all of your programs are stored on your computer. If you have a slow hard drive, it'll take longer to perform basic operations like opening your software and exporting footage. For this reason, you should always get an SSD hard drive when editing video. They are much faster and less prone to failure than HDDs and Fusion drives. Processor When you're editing video, the processor is much more important than the graphics card. Video is very processor and memory intensive, especially if you want to edit HD or even 4K video. If you have the bad habit of having a lot of different applications open at the same time, you'll definitely want to get a good processor with a lot of threads. It should be noted that a quad-core is not always better than a dual-core. RAM Memory When you get down and start editing or working with motion graphics, your computer needs a place to put all the temporary work files it creates. This is where your laptop's memory will come into play. The larger your RAM, the more space your computer will have to store these temporary files, and the faster your computer will work. If you want your computer to have real-time playback without dropped frames, increased RAM is the way to go.